I've never done this before. Um, I am doing Cycle Oregon this year, 2019, and I am leaving tomorrow morning uh, from Southern California to head up to Portland, Oregon to then get on a bus. Uh, it's my very first Cycle Oregon. I One of the things I was looking for as I was trying to plan, because I like to plan a lot and really have all my ducks in a row, was to see what other people were packing. Cycle Oregon has a great packing list, um, but there's something, I guess, that's learned from other folks' experience and from your own experience. So I thought I would post a quick-ish video of all the stuff that I am packing in my one single bag, my one single under 65 pound bag for the Cycle Oregon Classic, uh, which runs seven days, 480 miles, uh, 20 plus thousand feet of climbing uh, this year in 2019, so that in case you're out there ever looking to see what a first timer packed for Cycle Oregon, uh, I don't know, maybe this is helpful. At the end, if I survive, when I get back, uh, I'll go through what I did use and what I didn't use and at the very least I can watch this video next year and uh, If I do it again when I do it again, it's my first time. I haven't decided yet um, I will be able to see what I packed and what I didn't use and all of that So let me walk you through my stuff. So sorry for the messy room. This is everything all laid out the bag that I ended up with is actually uh, on sale, it was the REI Big Haul 120 liter duffel. I started with the 90 liter and it was just, it didn't quite fit everything comfortably. Um, it was a little snugger than I wanted, so I went up to the um, 120 uh, liter duffel. It's a great bag so far. Most important part is that it has uh, straps to carry uh, on your back. From there, we have. Uh, one set of clothes that I'm gonna wear to the airport uh, tomorrow and then on the bus so that I don't have to pack it. That's like my pair of camp shoes. Then I've got my sleeping situation. Cycle Oregon offers a tent and porter for 450 bucks for the week, um, but I figured I'd try to rough it and figure it out myself. So I've got the uh, REI Passage 2 tent, which is pretty small and pretty light. Um, I have uh, a just kind of a Aegis Max um, sleeping bag slash blanket that's pretty light and pretty compact. Um, a uh, also got an Amazon uh, Outdoorsman Lab um, sleeping pad, a uh, little tiny pillow, and then because sometimes it's not real comfortable um, any, anywhere, I just have this little uh, Thermarest seat pad that is kind of squishy and folds out. Flannel shirt, uh, long sleeve in case it gets cold at night. Um, one pair of shorts that kind of doubles as swim trunks because that was on the packing list. A uh, pair of like hiking pants, like lightweight um, hiking pants. And then I have a second pair of hiking pants uh, that I'm gonna wear to the airport. Um, a t-shirt, since I'm going to Oregon, it is my Bigfoot t-shirt. Um, and then I have a uh, Trek old school Trek t-shirt so that I can um, make sure people know that I have cycling cred, a little bit of cycling cred, um, and I'm not just totally some yehu. Uh, of course, uh, underpants, we gotta pack underpants. Um, and then I got some cold weather stuff, uh, just in case, and I'm gonna pack all that up in um, a compression bag, a beanie, some gloves, um, here just like some lightweight gloves. Uh, a couple of pairs of socks just for walking around camp, like a buff um, that kind of just goes over your head or your neck or wherever you want it. Uh, my Patagonia, um, I got this on sale at REI and it stuffs down into its pocket so that compresses pretty well. My goal had been to try to get stuff that will compress as much as I can get it to compress so um, hopefully uh, I can fit all of this into that bag right there. A couple of other necessities. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. P Picaridin, Picaridin, insect repellent. I chose this over DEET repellent because I've I heard that in high quantities. I was looking at um, 
I was looking at REI's Jungle Juice, and it's like 99% DEET, uh, but I've heard DEET uh, can impact like plastics and other stuff that uh, lots of cycling gear is made out of. So I went with this um, Karadin, which is supposed to be safe for will not harm gear and equipment right there. A headlamp for camp, pocket knife, two pretty good size um, battery chargers. I think they're 12,000 uh, MAW capacity, two of those so I can charge up my devices. I think all of my cables, uh, I'll come back to these two batteries for a second. I have some Luca tape. This stuff actually, which is good for blisters and anything else that you might need to tape up on your body. Some Luco tape wrapped around a Sharpie, uh, a couple other pens, some backup batteries for my headlamp, uh, a couple of CR2032 coin batteries, which is what powers lots of um, cycling stuff. My um, cadence meter, uh, my heart rate monitor. So that's my electric bag. A journal. Had been using it as a bullet journal, but not recently. But I'm gonna try and pick that back up. I have a lightweight, like microfiber towel that folds up in this for when I take a shower. Toilet paper, because even though it's a well supported event, Cycle Oregon, uh, you never know when you're gonna be the one to walk into the porta potty and there's not any toilet paper. So Roll of toilet paper, uh, flushable wipes, and uh, some heavy duty sunscreen because I am a, a ginger. All my toiletries, which include deodorant and hand sanitizer and body wash and toothpaste and contacts and kaopectate because I sometimes get weird tummy issues when I'm traveling. Um, cooling gel in case my insect stuff doesn't work, then I can deal with the bites. Of course, band-aids and all of that. Uh, I am bringing an emergency blanket. Uh, who knows if I'll need it, but I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. We're about halfway there. And let me come over to my cycling gear. I don't need to go through all of these pieces, but I'm essentially taking one jacket uh, lightweight like rain cycling jacket that the shoulders zip off of and it uh, zips into a vest one kind of like a long sleeve almost winter jersey I don't know if I'll need that usually with a regular short sleeve jersey and this windbreaker jacket I'm usually okay but it might get down pretty cold uh, I sweat a lot so I have I think I'm bringing three different like sweat uh, headbands one of these a different type and then kind of this thicker just cycling cap i'm bringing four cycling jerseys well, i ordered the cycle oregon jersey so uh, that will be a fifth one i i might only take three i might only use three um but figure i'll have the extra one it doesn't take up that much space i've got four bibs here in this bag I've got two cycling base layers and then one pair of just tights um, and I figure I can use the tights uh, like running tights they're not padded they don't have a chamois so running tights in case I get cold at night uh, get cold around camp I can put them under my my camping pants or I can wear them on a ride in the morning I have four pairs of they're not arm warmers they're like UV protectors I didn't want arm warmers because I've got the jacket, like I mentioned before, um, but I picked these up on Amazon real cheap and so uh, figured that they would help keep me from being too sunburned. Um, I've got, of course, my sunglasses, my helmet, my cycling shoes, my cycling socks, four pairs of socks in my shoes, two water bottles on there. Um, I'm gonna see what I can shove in those two water bottles. A friend bought me like as a gag gift, I think. <laughs> I've got my road ID um, there and I'll edit that out because I, yeah. I've got chamois butter here, a new jug uh, just to help on the long days. Um, your fingerless glo cycling gloves, long fingered cycling gloves, uh, two saddlebags. I have this, uh, which is like a front, almost bento box kind of deal that I'll put like food and goo and stuff in. 
and I also uh, this is a good fit for my frame pump uh, fits in there in case I get a flat and then here's my saddle bag that has just kind of general tools it's a bigger one I experimented with a couple leading up to this um, but I ended up with uh, this bigger toe peak bag and in it is where I'll put my probably two extra tubes a day my tire levers my uh, kind of bike tool um, whatever else needs to go in there for the day lastly I am taking five extra tubes I wrapped these uh, with the GP llama uh, take all the air out wrapping method then wrote like what size they are I'm running probably bigger tires than some other people will be up there so I want to make sure that if somebody else needs a tire they know what size I am giving them and then two items really for recovery one is just a yoga strap uh, that I will try to use I just picked this up at like Marshalls or something, but like a six foot or eight foot yoga strap that I can use to help me stretch out after the ride and before the ride. And then this was a gift uh, from family for my birthday. I turned 40 this year and part of turning 40 was wanting to do this ride. So they bought me this um, percussive or percussion massager, which actually is great it's loud and so my only fear and worry is that it's gonna not be welcome in camp but hopefully it'll be noisy enough that no one will notice so I have this one and I am taking two fully charged batteries for the for the vibe and with the hope that it's gonna last for those seven days and I'll be able to at least get a few minutes every day of good uh, percussion massage out of this one right here. That's everything, uh, as I can tell. Two of the things, picking up a small mirror from the dollar store so I can put my contacts in and take my contacts out. I also have, I forgot to mention, I have a, a clothesline. I have a clothesline that I can clip inside my tent so that I can wash my shorts or chamois or jerseys or whatever and then hang them up to dry either through the afternoon or for the day. So. We all, those are the two other things that I forgot to mention. So that has been my Cycle Oregon packing list, uh, gear list of everything that I am taking. So wish me luck. Thanks. If you're watching this, uh, thanks. I really appreciate it. Hope it was helpful.